This lesson is about finding cube roots of unity. Here we will find cube roots of 1 and we will also discuss properties of the cube roots of 1. Let's get started. If x represents cube root of 1, if x represents if x represents cube root cube root of 1 then how can we write the equation then x is equal to 1 power or if we write in radical form that's how we can write our statement in radical form but if we want to write the same thing in exponential form we can write as x equal to 1 power 1 over 3 if we transfer this exponent to the left side of course it's going to reciprocate so here we can have the same equation in the form x cube equal to 1 or we can write x cube minus 1 equal to 0 but since 1 cube is equal to 1 therefore x cube minus 1 will take the form x cube minus 1 cube equal to 0. Now this takes the form of a cube minus b cube equal to a square minus uh, plus a b plus b square time a b a plus b uh, a minus b. That's a formula from algebra. If we apply this formula we will write the same expression on the left side as x minus 1 time x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. As the product of two real numbers cannot be equal to 0 unless one of them is equal to 0. So either x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. The solution for x minus 1 is equal to 0 is x equal to 1. But for the solution on right hand side, we are going to find a which is 1, which is b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 1. Because this equation x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 is quadratic equation in x and we will use quadratic formula to find the solution. This means x is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac divided by 2. a which is 1 again and therefore if we substitute the values x is equal to minus 1 plus minus 1 square is 1 again anyways minus 4 time 1 time c is 1 again divided by 2 time 1 so this gives us the value of x as minus 1 plus minus minus 3 here upon simplification divided by 2. So these are two values of x and the solution set for the given equation x cube is equal to 1 is so the cube so 3 so 3 cube roots so 3 cube roots of 1 are equal to the 1 itself which we have here that was the solution of that equation and minus 1 plus negative 3 square root divided by 2 and minus 1 minus negative 3 square root divided by 2 as we can see that out of these three cube roots of 1 here the first one is a real number 
the second and third one are two complex roots because minus and root 3 is not a real number since since minus 3 square root is not a real number or is complex complex number so the last two roots the last two roots are complex and that will be exactly subject of our properties the first property of the cube roots of unity states that each complex cube root of unity is a square root of the other so doesn't matter which one one of the last two if squared will become equal to the other one so let's take the second and denote this by omega let omega is equal to it's just a name minus one plus minus square root three divided by two if this is omega uh, notation that for this uh, complex root of one then let's take square and we will prove let omega denotes this we will show we will prove that omega square is equal to minus 1 minus negative 3 divided by 2 because that's exactly what the property requires us to prove so if this is omega then taking square on both sides taking square omega square will become equal to minus 1 plus negative 3 square root divided by 2 whole square on right hand side as well now we can use this formula from algebra a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square and expand the denominator on the right side but first let's write omega square is equal to separating the denominator and the denominator this will be minus 1 plus negative 3 square root power 2 and now we will apply this formula in the denominator so this will give us omega square is equal to minus 1 square plus negative under root 3 square plus 2 time negative 1 time negative 3 divided by 4 so this is equal to if we take minus 1 square that will become plus and negative 3 square root whole square will be equal to minus 3 because square root will be cancelled with square so this is minus 2 into negative 3 divided by 4 and now we can simplify it this is omega square this is omega square and minus 2 minus 2 time negative 3 divided by 4 and by taking 2 common and then cancelling with the denominator this is minus 1 minus negative 3 square root divided by 4 which will leave us negative 1 negative 3 square root divided by 2 and this is exactly what we were required to prove because if you look at the third one the third root of 1 that is equal to minus 1 minus 
negative 3 and root divided by 2 and this is what we were required to prove that one complex root is in fact square of the other one the second property property number two and what is that property that property suggests that sum of the all three roots of unity is equal to zero so sum of the roots sum of roots is equal to the first root was one plus minus one plus under root negative three divided by two that was the second root and plus negative one minus negative under root three over two that was the third root or in other words we can write it as one plus omega plus omega square because that's how we have named them so this is equal to if we take two as lcm and then we can write two plus uh, or minus one plus negative under root three minus one minus negative three under root divided by two this negative and positive will cancel out with each other and this will be equal to 2 minus 2 divided by 2 this is equal to 0 divided by 2 is equal to 0 so what was the property that the sum of all three cube roots of unity is 0 and that's exactly what we have proved for third property we are required to prove that the product of all cube roots of unity is equal to 1 so in order to prove the third property property number 3 that is product of product of cube roots of 1 is equal to one time the first complex root is minus one plus negative under root three divided by two and the other one is negative one negative minus three under root divided by two and if you remember the product of the difference of a and b formula from algebra which is a minus b time a plus b this we have established in algebra that this is equal to a square minus b square the same thing here this is a this is b so the here is a plus b and here is the same thing a minus b so minus 1 plus negative under root 3 time negative 1 Neg minus negative 3 divided by 2 times 2 will become equal to 4 and here if we apply that a square minus b square formula this will be equal to minus 1 square minus negative 3 square over so this will be this is this is negative is inside so this is equal to 1 minus minus 3 divided by 4 and here we have this equal to 1 plus 3 over 4 means this is equal to 4 over 4 and this is equal to 1 that was third property and fourth property is that for any value of n w power n is equivalent to one of the cube roots of unity so property number four let n be equal to four then w 
our omega 4 is equal to what omega 3 time omega but we have just proved in the second property here the product of cube roots of unity if we were to denote this with 1 time omega time omega square this means we are proving that omega cube is equal to so this we have established this fact that omega cube on the left hand side was equal to 1 so if that was the case then omega cube can be replaced by 1 time omega which is root of 1 and omega 5 if it was omega 5 omega 5 will be equal to omega square time omega on cube and omega cube being 1 time omega square omega square we remember that was equal to minus 1 minus negative 3 square root divided by 2 so this was equal this is again which is again a cube root of 1 which is again a cube root cube root of 1 so it doesn't matter any value of n you can take we will you will always end up either with 1 or omega or omega square let's take omega 25 and we are going to separate the power which is multiple of 3 so we'll write omega 24 time omega and this will be omega q power 8 time omega this is equal to 1 power 8 time omega that is equal to omega omega 26 is equal to omega 24 time omega square and this is equal to omega q power 8 time omega square which is equal to 1 power 8 into omega square is equal to omega square omega 27 is equal to omega cube power 9 anyways and this will be 1 power 9 so this is equal to 9 so you can see that for any value of n it's either 1 or omega or omega square so for any value of n we can see that answer is either 1 or omega or omega square.